Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Now apologies for it because it has been a while. I haven't made a video in three days now. It's just because yeah, I haven't been really feeling well recently. But anyways, yeah, enough of that. Just um, to start off, um, a massive, massive thank you actually because... Wow, the subscribers are booming right now. We literally hit it. Uh, I think it was yeah. Last episode we got to 1,300 subscribers, and now we're already 1,330. So let's keep it up. Let's see if we can get 1.4 soon, because that would be that just be absolutely amazing. So yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. It's awesome. But anyways, as you may have noticed today, Neptune is where Mercury is, and if we just zoom out here. Mercury is where Neptune is. So yeah, today we're um, swapping the orbits of Neptune and Mercury around. So this should be pretty interesting because obviously Mercury, we probably won't be seeing much from there. But Neptune, on the other hand, we're going to go ahead and add its moons in as well. So if we go and do that, yeah, Neptune's moons are now going to be orbiting Neptune while they being this close to the sun. So some of them could be warmed up, like Triton, for instance. And we could like maybe like live there. And damn, I do not like the color of that Triton. Triton is a white coloured object, I believe, like a whitely purple coloured object, and that, why does it have an atmosphere? No, get out of here, there we go. So, it should be like, more of a, this sort of colour, I think, I don't even know actually, it's sort of like a pale sort of purple colour, I don't really know, because we haven't even mapped out the full surface of Triton, I don't think. Hmm, I don't know, is that what, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah, we haven't mapped out the full surface of Triton, because we've only ever visited it once with Voyager 2, and that... We only we didn't map out the whole thing because I believe Voyager 2's um yeah Voyager 2's um arrival at Neptune it only flew by it I don't think it stuck or stuck around for long so I think it just flew over Neptune's north pole got one shot of Triton then left I think I don't know that for sure but I think it did something like that but anyways if we just hit play these guys should all be orbiting well they should be orbiting Neptune but as you can see already. The Neptune's strength is, or Neptune's gravity is just not strong enough in this area of the solar system to hold all these objects. Because we're a lot closer to the sun here, some of Neptune's moons are have been taken by, um, or taken from Neptune by the sun. Just because the sun has a lot stronger gravitational pull here than it would all the way out here where Mercury is. So, we can actually go check up on Mercury. So, Mercury is basically like Pluto now. It's just a dwarf, or it's a planet. It's a planet-sized dwarf planet, pretty much. It's just... Like all of the other objects out here, the little objects, it's basically just a rogue little rocky body, pretty much, beyond the orbit of the gas giants. So, yeah, there is that. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much that for Mercury. We can put its temperature to zero to see how cold it will get, because it definitely will get colder. But, yeah, Neptune is the main focus of this, because, yeah, Neptune's moons are going to go a little crazy here. And maybe Neptune itself. Well, we could maybe colonise Triton, see if it works, but here is good old Neptune, looking good. Oh, and it is warming up. Look at that. It's 10 degrees. So Neptune is um, warming up to a nice temperature now. So that'd be weird. But seeing Neptune at a different temperature in real life, it may, be, it may change the colour of Neptune. It'd be weird. Seeing an ice giant actually warm up. Yeah, here's some good old Triton. Still getting cold here, sadly. So obviously it's just not good enough. But that's a nice Triton, actually. I like that. What's it like compared to my custom Triton? Let me just get that in quick. I just want to check. So this is my custom Triton. Ooh, I don't know. I think I like this one more than that. You know what? We're replacing that. I like this one more. Let me just go and save that and replace the old Triton. There we go. So we've got a new custom Triton there now. That's looking good. So yeah, that's orbiting Neptune. But as we can see, some of Neptune's moons out here, like Nered or ne Nered here, they are over 100 degrees in temperature as well as they're no longer orbiting Neptune. So these are now just a bunch of rogue asteroids pretty much orbiting closer to the sun than Venus. Oh, actually, no, some of them are further away than Venus. And then this one here. Damn. Pretty unlucky. Look how close it spawned to the sun here. This is... Yeah, this is probably now the closest main body to the sun here. So, that ain't good. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, that's not good. So, yeah, Neptune's still chilling there. Venus and Earth, yeah, they're, they're exactly the same as normal. But, yeah, this is a um, pretty interesting um, little um, video here. So, hmm. So, if Neptune was in the orbit of Mercury... Its um, moons would get stolen by the sun, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, so let's check out in these guys. So these guys are mostly very hot in temperature here, like 135 degrees. We can see this one here. Uh, shut up, phone. And then we've got 130. And we've got 134. So yeah, all of these inner objects to Neptune here, all of these little asteroids, they are very, very hot in temperature because 
Yeah, they're probably mostly captured objects from the Kuiper Belt, because Neptune, or, or this is, Triton is the only proper sized moon around Neptune, because all these little moons, they're just little asteroids. Triton is the only circular object around Neptune that we know of, so pretty interesting stuff. So this is the only real moon of Neptune, if you ask me, because, yeah, to me, these are just captured asteroids. They, they probably didn't form around Neptune, but you never know. Maybe they did, but, yeah, most of the... Um, most asteroid moons, say like around Mars, like you've got Phobos and Deimos, Deimos have you set. Then we've got the moons around Jupiter. All of the moons apart from the Galileo moons were probably captured objects that are probably originated somewhere else in the solar system. But I could be wrong, yeah, don't judge me on that, but I, I, I probably could be wrong, but maybe, but maybe I'm right, but yeah, pretty interesting. If anyone knows, um, or anyone's got any ideas where some of the moons could have come from, then... Yeah, they could have come from a collision of two objects. Maybe Neptune had an, an, or had another moon that collided with something, and then it all exploded, and these are the fragments of that moon. Like, there's loads of theories that, um, of how moons could be formed. You can also have objects which are captured, or the object just forms around um, Neptune. But then that's the thing. If it formed around Neptune, why is it going the wrong way around? This, this moon is going clockwise. All of the other moons go anti-clockwise. This is a very bizarre object. And, yeah, Triton, I believe, we think is, um, also, please, be quiet. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, that's my iPad going off, or iPhone, or whatever, but, yeah, if you didn't know, um, tr there's a lot of theories about Triton, about where it originated from, because I don't think, uh, I don't think this was formed around Neptune, no, like, I'm pretty sure, like, if you see, like, loads of videos on Triton or whatever, I'm pretty sure everyone will say this probably wasn't formed around Neptune just because of the way it orbits Neptune, like, you can see here. This is going anti-clockwise. All of the other moons are going clockwise. Oh, no. No, no, you, you didn't hear that. These these moons are going anti- oh, No, these moons are going anti-clockwise, and then this is going clockwise. So this is the only moon that goes clockwise in the solar system, I think. So, pretty cool stuff. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was a captured object. So this probably was like Pluto. It's probably just orbiting the sun, doing its own thing, and then it got too close to Neptune, and then Neptune captured it. Or maybe it was also from a collision or an explosion, or maybe it was another planet that got collided with something like. Yeah, there's loads of theories on it. If you've got any you know, theories about why Triton was formed, then yeah, just leave them in the comments. It's always good to hear what you have to say. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. But as we can see, if we speed up time a lot faster now, as we can actually see what's going on here. So let's speed this up. Oh, Triton's um, smoking up, as you can see in the little little menu here. Can we see it? Yeah, but look at that. So it's losing material. It looks like maybe it's just too close to the sun. So look here. Yeah, it's losing mass. Look, you can see in the um the this properties menu here. You can see its temperature is slightly getting colder, but it's losing mass here. So it's losing just little bits, but yeah, it's taking its time, but yeah, it's losing some mass. Nothing too extreme there, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, there's that. And then Mercury, we can check up on you as well. Yeah, I, I don't think you're really doing much. Because Mercury is just one object. It's not really gonna yeah, nothing's happening here. It's just, yeah, getting colder. That's it. And it's very, very dark here. So, yeah, Mercury is pretty much just a dwarf planet like Pluto at this point. Except it probably doesn't have ice on it since it used to be close to the sun. So, yeah, that'd be pretty weird. And then Neptune is just chilling. It's nice and I love the blue. Neptune is such a pretty colour. Love it. Yeah, if you didn't know, Neptune is my favourite planet. <laughs> Anyways, can we see it from Earth, actually? Let's have a look from... Or Venus and Earth. Can we see Neptune from it? Because it should be quite large, so we should be able to see it, so... Oh look, can we see Neptune labels? Can we see it? Neptune? Oh, you can. You can see something over there. You can ju maybe just about see it. I don't know. It's there somewhere. What if we put Venus on the other side of the sun so we can actually get a little closer? Because yeah, we're on the wrong side of the sun here. Let's have to go back to orbits. Actually, let's put. Hmm. What, where could we put it? Uh, let's move. Uh, let's move Earth slightly. Let's have it. Maybe where is it? Earth is here, so let's see if we can see it from here, maybe? This is a closer point. Doesn't look like we can see it, I think we're on the wrong- yeah, we, I'm guessing we can't see Neptune, so... Dang it. I wanna see it from Earth, that'd be cool. Well, with a telescope you could probably see it, like, you can see Venus and Mars and Saturn and stuff from Earth, so you could see this- you'd be able to see Neptune very easily from, um, from Earth here. Hmm, we can't really get a good view of it. What if we just zoom out from Neptune to Earth, so... Here is Neptune. Now if we just zoom out, so just a little bit more, you can see Triton there. And if we just zoom out even more and more, so you can see the blue dot there. As we keep going out, it just becomes a star in the night sky pretty much. So there's that, there's the sun, and then Earth should be 
somewhere coming past us now at some point where is it okay here it is so you can see it here so you can see the blue you can see in, in that little white circle there you can just about see it like if we go to let's just go to just stars maybe and they're not that um let's go to the solid black so you can see it it's right there so if we go to earth here so if we zoom into you so here is earth as you can see you can see the um lights of yeah there's north america so you can see neptune from earth so there you go look at that and you can see mercury oh you can uranus jupiter you can see it you can see all the objects pretty much sedna you can't see planet nine we probably won't be able to see because it doesn't receive sunlight mars so you can see yeah, you can see them it's just quite they're very very small and here's a very nice look in america at night time look at that so yeah look at that very cool but yeah there's um neptune and that is what happens if you put it around the sun so well, no, that's what happens if you swap Neptune with the Sun. Yeah, I, I haven't been making videos. I'm sort of off. Oh, I'm not at my best. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been feeling well. So, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry if my performance is a little worse than usual. But, <laughs> yeah, not be feeling the best. But, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. So, we'll speed up time now just to see what it, what will happen if, if anything happens. Yeah, oh, my God. Please be quiet. Phone. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, so, there you go. So, let's see how cold Mercury is now before we end off. So... Mercury, 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 here you are. Still getting cold, eh? Yes, yeah, so this is probably going to get really, really cold. Let's check the temperature here. If we go to minus 200, does it get colder? Okay, it looks like it'll... Well, minus 150, maybe? Minus one... No, minus 140. Will it get colder still? Oh, so it is... So it will get colder than minus 140, so... Yeah, Mercury is very, very cold now. Because it doesn't reflect a lot of light, either. Oh no, oh no, it does, no, it absorbs a lot of light, but it's still very cold since it doesn't receive much light out there anyway. And the Neptune in here is just gazing, or just guzzling all that light and making Neptune 100 degrees in temperature, so pretty cool stuff that. But yeah, there we go guys, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video, make sure you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more, helps on the journey to 1,400 subscribers. Like I said, I'm sorry if my performance isn't up to standards today, but since I haven't been feeling well lately, I'm sort of off. I haven't been making videos, obviously, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless, because this is pretty cool. And Neptune is awesome. It's my favourite planet. Like, yeah, I've got, I've got to love Neptune. And then Triton, pretty happy I've got a new custom Triton. Yeah, this guy's minus 50 degrees. So Triton, as you can see, reflects a lot of light. So that would be quite hard to colonise, actually. But, yeah, there we go. So that is what happens if you swap the orbits of Mercury and Neptune around. So, yeah, there you go. So yeah, make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.